Stay all laid up. You are now tuned into the show where you learn the discipline to show up day after day to do the work, the confidence to put yourself out there boldly and authentically, and the mental toughness to continue showing up, doing the work, putting yourself out there even when the success you've expected to achieve has yet to be achieved. And on top of all this, you get a huge dose of personal initiative. That is the go-getter energy that moves any one of us, including yourself, to go and make things happen instead of waiting for things to happen. And then we put all this together into a series of frameworks, approaches, insights, strategies and techniques all underneath the umbrella of one unifying philosophy that is called work on your game. My name is Dre Baldwin, also known as Dre All Day, and welcome to the show. In today's topic, we're going to talk about the most important things you need to start your business. Before we get into this, I'll tell you all, I have a daily motivation text message that I send out free of charge to everyone who's in my text community. This message is guaranteed to keep you focused, sharp, and on point. All you got to do to get this message is text me at my number, 305-384-6894. And every day when I send that daily motivation text out, you shall receive. Also, you can text me while you're listening to this and tell me the best insight you got from today's episode. Secondly, Work On Your Game University is where you get access to all of my courses. That is the next level learning. Here I tell you the things that you do need to do, then I tell you how to do it inside of Work On Your Game University. So here on this show, I'm gonna give you the what, and I'm gonna explain why you need to do it. Inside of Work On Your Game University, you're gonna learn how to do it. The actual tactics and the strategies and the implementation is all inside of the university. We got different levels to this. First of all, there's my coaching level where you can work with me directly. I will answer your questions. I will tell you exactly what to do, tell you exactly what steps to take. You report back to me what you're doing, what's working, what's not. We fix it, we adjust, we implement. That's the coaching level. Second, we have the courses inside of the courses. For example, my business builder course is the best course you can take related to what we're gonna talk about here today. Because we're talking about building your business. The business builder course is a new course that just got added to the university less than a month ago. So inside of the business builder course, you get all the hows and the techniques to do what I'm gonna tell you about here today. And then third, we have our physical mailings. I send out the Bulletproof Bulletin and the Black Book every single month to everyone who is in the university. All of those can be yours if you just go to work on your game at university.com. I'll tell you more about that at the end of today's episode. But let's get into the topic, which is the most important things you need to do to start your business. Let me take a note real quick because I just said something that I want to make sure I keep in mind moving forward. It's something that I'll be using for y'all. Sometimes I say things that give me an idea. So now, Let's talk about this. The most important things to do to start your business. Entrepreneurship is something that many people are always looking into, always interested in. I talk to people who work at uh, companies. They are looking for ways to be entrepreneurial. I talk to people who are entrepreneurs. They want to do better at their entrepreneurship. And I talk to people who are trying to figure out where they want to go. And often they are looking towards entrepreneurship because of the autonomy that comes with it, the unlimited income potential that comes with it, the fact that you get to kind of call your own shots and be your own boss that comes with it. And since there are many entrepreneurs out there in the thought leadership space, people like myself sharing information on how to do it and how best to do it, what I want to do here today is share some simple principles with you about what you will need in order to get started in your business. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to have some episodes coming up. I'm just looking at what I have here. I'm going to talk about business building. I'm going to talk about some myths about building a business that have been taught to some of you that are not actually true, but have been pushed on you as true. Those will be coming up in a future episode, probably in a week or so. We'll be talking about those, but today we're going to talk about the things that you need to have in place to get started in your business. These are going to be some simple principles that you must have in place to start your business. Okay, and these are going to be a little bit different, a lot different actually, than what you will often hear from many people in the thought leadership space. So listen to what I say, listen to my explanation of what I'm saying, and then you can draw your own conclusions. So you can hold anything I say up to the light and decide if it makes sense to you and for you. Point number one, the topic once again today is the most important things you need to start your business. Number one thing you need to start a business. Anybody know the answer? There's one answer and it's universal. I don't care if you are starting a car wash. I don't care if you are selling books. If you are a personal trainer. If you are a, uh, a male or female escort. If you are a, um, if you run a limousine service, if you go around and clean people's houses for a living, there is one universal thing that 
you must have in place to start a business. One thing, it applies to all of those businesses and every business that I did not mention. Anybody know what it is? All right, time's up, here's the answer. Paying customers, or you may call them clients. You need people who are paying you money to have a business. If you don't have people paying you money, you do not have a business. First thing you need to start your business is not an LLC. You do not need a trademark. You do not need a website. You do not need a logo. You do not need business cards. You do not need to secure all your social media accounts on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook. You need someone who is willing to give you money for your product or service. If you don't have that, all of those other things are irrelevant. There are many business coaches out there telling you about securing your brand, getting your business documented and legally recognized. Listen, I'm not saying that those things aren't useful and I'm not saying that you don't necessarily, you shouldn't necessarily do them. Listen, I have an LLC. I have, what else did I just mention here? Um, my business is legally recognized. I have logos, I have websites, I have social media accounts. If I didn't have anyone willing to give me money, then I wouldn't do, I wouldn't have any of those things. They wouldn't matter. The first thing I did in business was get a customer. First product I ever created on my own was a basketball training program. It's called Hoop Handbook. I still have that website to this very day. Still sell programs on that website to this very day to basketball players. It was simply just showing basketball players how to practice on their own and get better at basketball by themselves. The first sale that I made was a $4.99 program teaching basketball players how to dribble the basketball. At that point, when I made that first sale, I did not have a home website. I mean, I had the website called hoophandbook.com, but it has since evolved a lot since then. I did not have a logo. I did not have an LLC. I did not have any type of uh, legal documentation for the existence of my business. I did not have any trademarks. I did not necessarily have a brand. I was not, at that point, was not even saying work on your game. That did not exist. I did have dreallday.com. I had dreallday.com as my home page but I wasn't even selling my products on dreallday.com. It's a different website that I was selling products on. So all of these things that I didn't have any kind of slogan or anything like that, all these things that a lot of business people will tell you that you need to have to start your business, don't matter if ain't nobody giving you any money, okay? The money is what makes you a business person, folks. It is not any of that other nonsense. And I'm not saying that stuff doesn't matter. Again, this is what comes first. Order of operations here, structure, organization, it matters. If you don't have anybody giving you money, okay, people are telling you you need to secure your brand, get your business documented. If you don't have anybody giving you money, I mean, you don't have clients and customers, there's nothing to secure. What are you securing? We need a trademark for if you're not making any money. All right, nobody's going to infringe on a trademark that's not making any money. All right, who cares? All right, nobody's going to try to steal your intellectual property if it's not worth any money because you're not making any. So you don't have anything to, you don't have anything to protect. All right, and nobody's trying to steal anything from you if they don't even know that you exist. So you will need a healthy amount of traction and revenue, folks, in your business before you draw enough attention that anybody would even consider stealing or copying any of your stuff, okay? Even if you, even if you do, go get yourself an LLC and you got all your documentation and you get a trademark and file all your paperwork and you know, go to a trademark attorney and all this other shit that people telling you you need to do, people are still gonna copy your stuff anyway. Now, your stuff's still gonna get copied. All right, my stuff gets copied. All right, it happens. And guess what? I'm not running around with a lawyer trying to take people to court over it because they can't beat me at being me. Right, they're not they're not gonna take they're not taking any money out of my pocket. They might try to copy my material, but they can't take any money out of my pocket because they can't do my stuff better than I do it. They can't do work on your game better than work on your game. First thing you need to start a business, folks, are people who are voluntarily giving you money. Until you have this, you do not have a business. Nobody cares about your documentation. You do not have anything to protect legally. And the government does not really recognize that you exist because you ain't making any money. The only thing the go only reason the government cares about businesses documenting their existence is because that business is making money so that the government can tax you. Now, that's the only reason the government cares. If you ain't making any money, the government doesn't care about you or what ideas you have in your head. It means absolutely nothing. Point number two, today's topic, once again, is the most important things you need to start your business. Number two, you need a process for continually identifying and communicating with people who are or are willing or will be willing to give you money. Notice the key 
the the uh, connecting theme between these first two points? People giving you money. If you want to be in business, you need people who are willing to pay you money. If you don't have that, and you don't have a way of getting to these people and continually conversing with, communicating with these people, let alone whether they agree to give you the money or not. But if you're not doing that consistently, then you do not have a business, folks. All this other stuff that people have y'all thinking that you need to be paying attention to do not matter until or unless you have someone giving you money. Just two points into this masterclass, the most important thing about your business is generating revenue, collecting money. Now, have I said that enough? Once you have some people who are willing to give you money, now, here's the next thing you do. It is not go get an LLC. It is not go trademark your logo or any of that, again, garbage. It is come up with a process, a strategy, and a system for making this happen over and over again. Making what happen over and over again, right? Getting people who, to see what you're offering, communicate with it, whether that's reading your website, listening to your show, looking at your ad, getting on a call with you, however you sell your thing, coming into your store, whatever it is, you need a process, a strategy, and a system for having people continually see what you're offering so that some of those people, hopefully, pull out their wallet or their credit card and they buy, or their phone, and they buy. That's what you, you need, a system to do this. This is what all the best businesses do. They not only collect money, but they have a way of collecting money continually. Amazon collects money, but they collect money continually. They got a process for making sure you come back to Amazon.com. Walmart has a process for making sure that Walmart shoppers come back to Walmart. Apple has a process for making sure that Apple users come back to Apple. And they do not assume that you're just going to come back just because you came the first time. Right across the street from where I live, in a very prominent location in uh, the middle of Miami is a big billboard. This billboard has to be about 100 feet wide and about 50 feet tall. Apple owns that billboard space. And there's another one that I can see across the highway. An, they own another billboard, the exact same size. And I can see it as an Apple billboard. It's the exact same image on both billboards. You know how much money those billboards cost? Those billboards cost thousands of dollars a month. Why would Apple, who already has so many of us using their phones, their tablets, their computers, their Bluetooth earbuds, why does Apple spend thousands of dollars a month on billboards? And this is just two billboards that I can see from my vantage point here in Miami. They have thousands of billboards all over America. They pay thousands of dollars a month for all of them. They run ads on the internet. They run ads on TV. They run ads on the radio. They, why does Apple have ads? Apple even does, they even do ads on people's podcasts. They sponsor podcasts and run ads on people's podcasts. Why does Apple do this? Why? They already got all these customers. They already have all this money. Why is Apple running ads, folks? Because it's part of their process, strategy, and system for keeping customers. Not just getting, keeping customers. Everybody got it? You need a way of collecting money continually. And in my business builder course, we talk about this and also coaching inside of Working Your Game University. That's why these companies are big businesses. That's why you know who they are. It's not a one-time thing. Apple, Amazon, Nike, Google, they all spend millions of dollars on advertising every week. Not every year, not every month, every week. Why? Because this is how they continually bring in customers. And as soon as you buy the, the last iPhone, the last iPhone is what, the iPhone 14? That's the, the newest one that's out. As soon as you buy iPhone 14, Apple understands that they have to do some work and spend some money to get you to buy iPhone 15. They do not assume that just because you bought iPhone 14, you're buying iPhone 15. They do not assume that. Now, some of you calling yourselves business people, you assume that because somebody bought the last thing, they're going to buy the next thing. Do not assume that. That's a bad idea. Inaccurate formula. These companies do not get fat and happy on the customers that they already have. While you may not be able to spend millions of dollars a week on marketing, you do need to be doing something to market your products and services continually, making sure that they stay top of mind and in people's faces so that if and when someone is ready to do something, they at least consider you. What happens with a lot of us is that people just forget that you exist simply because you're not getting in front of them. It's not that they don't want to buy from you, it's just that they weren't thinking about you when it came time for them to make a decision. You weren't in front of them because you hadn't been marketing to them. 
Apple's going to make sure that when it's time for me to get a new phone, when I decide to get a new phone, I'm going to consider Apple. One reason is because I have their phone, but the other reason is because their billboards are all over the place. Another reason is because their ads are on TV. Another reason is because they have, they're buying 60 second spots on people's podcasts that I listen to. They're going to make sure they stay in front of me. They're willing to spend that money to get my attention. The question is, what are you doing to make sure you're continually getting the attention of the people who you want to sell to? Again, in the build, business builder course, we talk about this a lot. Also in the sell yourself course inside of work with your game university.com. Point number three, today's topic once again is the most important things you need to start your business. Number three, you need a strategy and a system for giving your paying customers and clients more and continual value so they will continue to give you money. So just because somebody bought from you does not mean the game is over. And just because someone buys from you continually does not mean they're going to keep buying from you continually. People get you know, fatigued. People get tired. People might change their mind. They may be intrigued or enticed by someone other than you who is trying to draw them out of your world and into their world. So what you need to do, once someone has decided that they like your stuff, you got to keep giving them value so that they will stay in your world. All right, do not assume that they're going to stay there. People wander. All right, think about this. How many of you, how many people here... Think of any area in which you spend money. Do you only spend money with one type of company or one individual? Do you only get all your information from one person or all your stuff from one company? For most of you, the answer is no. You will get information on the same subject from multiple individuals, different companies. You'll spend money in different places. In other words, we are all whores as consumers. All right, we will spend our money in a whole bunch of different places. All right, none of us is tied to just one place. And your clients and customers are the exact same way. Uh, you're not the only person that they're getting information on subject X, Y, Z on. They're looking around at other stuff. Why? Because they can't help it. And because they're being marketed to by other people. So you got to do what you have to do to make sure you keep their attention. All right, this is the step that creates sustainability and longevity in your business. So you are not just doing one-off acts of marketing and one-off acts of business. So if you give people value continually, they will pay you continually. This is something that can be strategized for, planned for, and executed consistently. There's a process to this. In business terms, you often hear this called ascension. How do you move people up from one level to the next, to the next, to the next? Some people will move up in levels very quickly. They'll do it the first day. They'll go straight from level one to level five on day one. Some people don't get to level five ever. Some people, it might take them three years to get to level five. Some people get to level three and that's pretty much where they end up and they stay at level three because they're happy there. But you need to have a process for moving people up in what you do. So Amazon, for example, allows you to come in as a customer from anywhere. But they hope to ascend you to being a Prime subscriber. As a matter of fact, just yesterday, uh, from the date that I'm recording this, my Amazon Prime membership, uh, what is it called? Um, what do you call it? Renewed. It renewed for I believe it was like 140 bucks. Price is going up. Price is more almost double what it was when it first when I first got Amazon Prime. But their goal was to get you to the Amazon Prime level. From what I believe, I don't think there's another level after that with Amazon. But I bet you it's coming. I bet you there will be another level at some point past Amazon Prime. They just haven't figured out what it's going to be yet. Maybe where you get some of the videos, some of the movies on Amazon Prime Video. Some of those movies, or maybe all of them. You get them as part of the membership, but they got to figure out a tier for that. They got to come up with another price because once there are a bunch of people at the highest price, then there are some people who will go to the next level if there is a next level. That's essential. Apple has, for example, iPhone for life. You might think Apple doesn't have anything like that. Yes, they absolutely do. iPhone for life program. What is that? You pay a certain amount every month and then every, what is it? Every 12 months or 24 months, I don't remember what it was, you get whatever the newest iPhone is. The newest one comes out, you get it. That's probably every 12 months, that would make sense. You just pay a certain amount every month on the phone, and you're basically renting an iPhone. And then when a new one comes out, you can rent that one. When a new one comes out, you rent that one, and they just keep doing it over and over again. That is a membership. In some businesses, they call that continuity. I won't be surprised to see a company like Nike offer some type of membership or subscription. I guarantee you it's coming at some point because they see what all these other companies are doing, they're gonna come up with something. Google, for example, has a subscription product for their cloud-based storage, of which I am a customer. So every month you pay and you get a certain amount of access to cloud storage. 
Other companies have levels of memberships, different products you can buy, different levels of products, maybe even sometimes that you have to qualify in order to buy something, such as you have to earn a certain amount of revenue. I know people who have coaching programs where you have to, your business must be generating a certain amount of revenue in order for you to even join their coaching program. There's a program actually that I want to get into that you have to be, your business has to be generating a certain amount of revenue for a certain period of time in order to qualify to join their program. So my business gets there, I'm going to join that program. I already know what the program is and who's running it. But this is, this is just examples that I'm giving you of different ways that you can continually have business coming in to your organization. But these are all things that you have to strategize and plan out for. So let's recap today's class, which is the most important things you need to start your business. Most important things are number one and number two. Number three is kind of an additional step that goes down the line. Number one thing is you got to have paying customers, not an LLC, not a trademark, not a logo, not a website, not your social media tags, none of that stuff. Most, thing, most important thing you need to have is people who are willing to give you money voluntarily for whatever it is that you are selling. If you're not selling anything and you're not making any money in your business and you don't have any clients or customers, then it doesn't matter if you have an LLC or you got government documentation or you just spent money but you're not making any, it makes no sense. Point number two, you need a process for continually identifying and communicating with people who are or are willing to be or will be willing to be paying customers. People who are willing to give you money or may at one point give you money. Again, these two points, is these are the two things you need to start a business. Okay, Amazon, Apple, Nike, and Google spend millions of dollars a week on advertising, even though they already have a bunch of money and they already got a bunch of customers. Why? Because they understand that they have to keep bringing in customers. It's not something that you do one time. But number three, you need a strategy. This is further down the line. Strategy and system for giving your paying customers and clients more and continual value so they will continue giving you money. Now, you want to do this as soon as possible, but the first thing you need, you're not in business to get a customer. So the next thing you can do, now once you got some customers, now start giving them value so that they will remain customers. They will keep buying from you over and over again in the future. We call this servicing the account. So once you have the account, you gotta service it. You don't service the account, you won't have the account for long. And you can also ascend people. All right, you're at level one, here's how you get to level two, here's level four, here's level eight, whatever the levels are gonna be. Right, many companies do this, and any company that's not doing it, let's take a company like Nike, for example, they are going to get into this game, guaranteed. Mark my words. Amazon is going to add another tier past Amazon Prime because there's so many people on Amazon Prime. That means they're, by definition, just by all probability, there are a bunch of people who are Amazon Prime subscribers paying 140 ish dollars a year who will pay for the next level thing if Amazon offered a next level thing, which they have not as of today. But I guarantee you they will because they're, they're basically leaving money on the table right now. But all that said, take my business builder course inside of workonyourgameuniversity.com. There, there you will learn how to start putting these pieces in place, the exact steps you need to take to get those things done. Also, you join my coaching program at workonyourgameuniversity.com. I will help you in implementing this specifically for your business. Other thing is, text me. Tell me the best insight you got from today's class. My number is 305-384-6894. Work on your game. Dre all day.